Scott Sweeney's Aller Pump Company, and I'm just going to walk you through the basics of our oil smart pumping system that differentiates the difference between water and oil and will only pump out the water in a sump pit, leaving the oil behind, which is very important these days when you look at uh, how we uh, impact the environment and EPA regulations. The idea of this system primarily is going to be used in elevator vaults or in transformer vaults where there's the potential for uh, oil to accumulate in there and we want to keep that in the vault and not pump that out to the, the storm drain or to the sewer system. So with that being said, we'll just talk about the three basic components that make this system up. The first being the oil smart pump switch. And this unit here, if you look at it, it's a solid state switch and it has two probes. It has a long probe and then it has a short probe. What will happen is, is as water is comes in contact with this probe, it will rise up and then once it comes in contact with the second probe, then it will activate the pump and turn that on. Since our bodies are made basically with 98% water, I'll show you how this works and then we'll do a live test. Basically, if you could imagine water coming on the bottom of the probe and coming up, then once the water touched the second probe, you can hear the pump turn on. And as the water were to fall, it would continue down until it left the probe. Okay. And then it will start back up again. Okay. Now if there is oil in the application, this, the oil is going to have to get beyond this upper probe for it to activate. That's the beauty of the system. It will determine the difference. So I've got this vessel of oil and water. Now just to show you, uh, because of what we're working with here, I've actually set this probe a little lower. Normally this would be quite a bit higher than the pump, but for demonstration purposes. So you've got this layer of oil, and as you can see, it's coming up and nothing's happening. Now I'll stop once that probe, now if you'll notice closely, chasing it in with the camera, you'll see that that upper probe is in the oil and nothing's happened. Once it breaks the layer of oil and it comes in contact with water, the pump will turn on and it will continue to run until the bottom probe is out of the water and only in the oil. You'll notice that it won't restart until it comes all the way back up. And then you can run that back down. That's how the old smart switch works. The next piece in the system is the alarm switch. This is a solid state switch with no moving parts that will detect if there's a, a, a high water condition or a high oil condition. It has a sensing probe on it just like the lower unit and an optical sensor. And how this will work is it will relay the information to the third component which is the alarm which we'll talk a little bit more about here in a second. But just to give you an idea I have a little tray full of water here and if the pump were not to come on for any reason and the water will continue to rise, it will come in contact and sound an alarm and then if you look at the alarm box you'll notice that you have a red alarm beacon as well as a white light indicating that that's a water situation. If there was an excessive amount of oil in the pit, basically if you can imagine over time this pump is pumping working as it should and more and more oil is accumulating in the pit because of a leaking issue or some type of condition eventually so much oil will gather in that pit that the pump will no longer function and it will come up and when that oil touches the liquid smart switch you'll get an oil indication that tells the maintenance personnel that it's either going to be oil or water that they have to deal with The third component of the system is the alarm box. This is a, uh, a sealed UL listed box that will indicate either if there's a high water condition or a high oil condition. It comes with a test and silence switch and it also includes dry contacts that allow you to re relay, those, relay that information to a, a monitoring center so it can be uh, monitored off-site. But those are the three main components of the, the oil smart system. Thank you very much.